think if you open up Squeaky, honestly, to a whole, whole hallway, you open up HUD a little wider, maybe make the main entrance to lobby go directly toward ramp so you're a little bit quicker to rush in that, that direction rather than going have to go through lobby. I think there's changes that would be better for CSGO. I hope it comes back. However, I was really critical on the fact that Train was coming in. It's a very balanced map on the way the smokes work because it's such an open A site that you can get to the bomb plant quickly. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays off. But that's neither here nor there, although it is actually there, technically speaking. But go with the, uh, the phrasing. Um, uh, it's, uh, we'll have to wait and see how that looks. That's a trap. That's a trap on the blue bins, and uh, everyone's oh, just running away. Poor, <laughs> poor devil. That's JW that got stuck between them. <laughs> it's just, you know, I, I don't, I'm not quite sure how, exactly how that happened, but lanes were merging. But we're into a three on two, and it looks like uh, Fnatic should be able to take out the knife round. Um, I say that. I say that, and I've jinxed them. Sorry, it was actually a three on three. And Dupree's already dead. So, uh, yeah. Go Fnatic. <laughs> Finishes the job. And uh, are they going to decide to swap or stay? Olaf's already trying to start the chat. The, the chant. If I say Cajun. Yeah, I say B. Wait, I'm not supposed to say I say. Cajun. B. Ah, that was better. Yeah. Chat, if I say B. <laughs> What? Really? I'm just hey, you're see. expecting I'm him just to say Cajun? What happens. That's I'm the just wrong way around. around. I want to see it's what happens. It's a test. It's a test. That's like saying oi, oi, oi before Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. It's just screwed up yeah, in the that's mind. Fine. If I say B. It's so weird, man. So weird. All right, let's get ourselves underway. So Fnatic will be CTs. Team Solo mid will be TS for this first map of potentially three for the winner's bracket final. Winner will go into the grand final tomorrow. They'll play the last game of the night, and the winner of that gets to take home $5,000. They $5, are saying $5, Cajun. Dollars. See? Uh, they got it. Thank you, chat. They for take home $5,000 to also well spot a dream hack book arrest. Meanwhile, it's something serious. Uh, Cajun B is already looking to go in through that mid. He's got device behind him. Kerrigan with a bomb. He's in lower dark. And Dupree is the only man watching over to B. It's a quite heavy stack from Fnatic on the defense, watching uh, short A with uh, Pronax keeping his head quite formal, uh, firmly into that corner in case there's flashes to come. Zipnix wants to watch long because what's going to happen is now that 30 seconds have gone by in the round, usually what you get out of a team like Fnatic is one player either yeah, pushing come. on to B or pushing on to get A to get information. So smart. he wanted to make sure they didn't get flanked. CT's going to shift. Krims really spammy against that wall. Sipnik's also got flashed up a little bit. The B side does belong to Team Solo mid, but the rest of Fnatic are coming in, adding a lot of pressure to them. These T's are not very healthy. Device, the Kerrigan, and both uh, uh, Sipnik's are very, very low on life. And Pronax and Flasher, that's a really great move from Dupree. He's waiting for them to come through upper dark. He'll take out Pronax, which means Flasher's the last man left alive. He needs to get in there, because Olaf is already trying to breach into the side. He can't do it, however. Device finds the kill. And now in comes the final kill, and that'll be Flusher. So Fnatic failing in the retake. They guessed incorrectly against Team Solar Mid's push. They did at least get one of the frags onto, onto the TSM players as they pushed in through mid, but there was not much more to speak Double of. Double scout. Fnatic's doing this similar buy to what they did against Flipside last night. We saw how that went for them when they lost this round. They got a little bit arrogant, perhaps, or disrespectful the, in their buys, the, and it the cost them. The difference is with the movement they're playing, uh, for the first round at least, they're playing a oh, lot more structured, JW. they're playing a lot more together. Device just absolutely annihilated D JW right there. So two shots onto him. The first took him down to four, the second finished him off. Device took some damage in return, but there's one scout out already. So Olaf had to go back and pick that up. Which means Olaf and Krims are the ones who are the scouts, and they're the ones who are pretty, sitting very close to B, but that's not where the push is coming. Olaf has to move back, and Pronax is making the call already. Flusher and Pronax have to sit very tight on that A site. It's Cage and B. Too late to get to long to see where Pronax and Flush were moving. They're going to come into short. Crims watching up through mid. Well, Olaf already making that move. The smoke comes out, but they're double. They're faking this one team solo mid. They've gone out through long. They're coming back up through mid. Flusher is sitting in short. Oh, they got to watch this because they're going to predict it. They're going to come around the corner at short rate exactly when they get into lower. Are they going to get shots in? Doesn't look like it. So Kerrigan's going to have your entry. He's going to be your man into the site. Pronax does at least take down Crims Zipnix. is already there. Uh, he didn't get in through and the Olaf, window. He showed up just in time. So Fnatic read this well. Oh, good damage dealt to Kerrigan. So he only gets the one. That drops a Costly. gun outside. Yeah, now Fnatic's in a great position. That scout and still one Galil mm. to work with. Bomb's going to go down, though. They're inside the walls of the site, and it's fortified. So Olaf's going to have to be brilliant. 28 HP and the 5-7 and scout. Yeah, that's not, a lot. That's not really a lot to... 
That's not a lot to work with. And also 29 if we're going to be, be really correcting. Uh, okay. A uh, flash. Buzz pops it. Can't get the shot down. A 1 HP now. Sees the jump coming. He's at least going to keep him on the site. Maybe long enough. No, not long enough to blow up with a bomb. And that'll be two rounds to Team Solo mid. Fnatic struggling to just get a base here. It was a very expensive buy for their second round, so they'll have to do a full pistol round, of a proper eco and, this and time. And this is what they didn't do last night. They bought in again, thinking, yeah. ah, we'll just keep buying pistols. Eventually the we'll get this and right. Stuff. And it gave up four rounds. Eventually went, I don't know if anyone remembers, or most people I assume are here, because you guys are dedicated, loyal fans. But it went 7 nothing before they responded because of it. So Because you're awesome. Um, hey, do you know who got the last kill last round? Cajun. Because <laughs> where Team Solo mid are moving. Uh, Olaf already moving back, and he can hear him. There's a lot of noise over on the side. So they start the flank with the three men. Cajun B is just hovering back over a T-spawn, so he's going to look for JW. Sitting close on the ramp, so if JW tries to run this quick, Crim's at... Oh, okay, JW, look left. He's going to look left. Takes a large amount of damage before he does so. Olaf can't get in through the window. Cajun B also brought down Crim's, and JW is kind of stuck at the T-spawn because Carrigan also moved up. Pronax and Flusher. Pronax sitting in lower duck. While Flusher sitting in CT. Well, there goes that nade bouncing around the corner. They're just waiting for the exit frags. They're not going to get any of them. That bomb's going to go off again. TSM. No gun safe. No gun safe it away from, TS, uh, from TSM. Uh, and Fnatic. Now they have their first buy round. This is going to be their critical moment. They can't let Team Solo Mid walk over them. Because Team Solo Mid are playing wonderfully. They're moving from side to side. They're keeping that rotation up. And they're making Fnatic wonder where this attack is coming. It's First time in through the mid. Second time in through long A. But shift it back to B. You're always guessing as a it, Fnatic lineup. It definitely lineup. plants the seed in the back of their mind that they're going to be playing an adaptive style. The interesting thing right now is they can't afford the op because of that double scope buy. And Fnatic really relies on early picks with the AWP on this map. So they've gone for a 2-1-2 two -two immediate. Although Flush is not directly in mid. He's on catwalk. So this is a bit different for them. Bit of a more closer angle for Flush to hold, mm. but it's not ideal. Yeah, they, they had to do that because Device has already picked up the AWP, so you have to keep your heads in. Use the advantage of playing at this medium range where, you, where your rifles are going to do the, the work. Now, Olaf and Crims, they're very deep on this B-side. In fact, Olaf's already jumping out towards the boxes. And the push is coming to B. It's flipping in and out. But here they come. Dupree's going to be the first one. The smoke's going to fade over and up a dark, which means it's actually going to have to get refreshed. JW's up a very long way on short. Now he knows he can't peek out for that one. He just wanted to have a look down to lower dark, but the smoke is blinding him to do it. Time is ticking out for Team Solo mid. As we get another flash. It's going to affect any of the T's, and now they push in. Two in through mid, through in through up a dark, and uh, Olaf taken down the side. It's still a little costly. They lost two, two players here. And the plan hasn't gone down. Cajun B was very late into the site. And this might just give enough time for JW and Pronax to set up. In fact, JW's already gone in. He just walked through the smoke while Pronax ah, caught with his, with his gun down. Try to go for the flash to go against Kerrigan. And he's to find the first pick. Dupree's watching him from the back box. They're not going to get in. There's nope. no way. They, they had a great setup. Cajun, only. Yeah, Cajun below the window. That's such a great spot to be, especially with another team made up because your first peak can't be directly downward. Otherwise, you're going in blind to the other two. Mm -hmm. And then the double holdout Actually, toward tunnels was easy. So Didn't realize Device's AWP is now in the hands of Pronax. Yeah, they did grab that, which is absolutely huge. So that gets them a bit Carrigan. of a start because, as Pronax. I mentioned, Pronax. All right, he's on the run. Kerrigan was right behind him as he's trying to make it to the double doors on long. It, it, that was a big save because, as I mentioned, they don't have much economy to work with. Getting an op out for them was always going to be hard unless they went for a full, complete save, not even a forced pistol round. Now they can force up with the op in their hands, and they've got a chance to use it. This is when Fnatic actually, in my opinion, becomes more scary than the last round where they had five rifles and they had to give up mid. So this time around, they're looking in. There's that smoke coming out from Crims. Trying to stall it up. Smoke on upper dark as well as the mid doors. So Team Solo mid, not really getting any kind of information where Fnatic is. Pronax very up and deep on the long A. They have a long way to run to get over towards the B side, which is where he needs to go now. Crims, he's at the front lines. They're trying to use that Famous as they come out of the smoke, but... 
Team Solomid, once again, patience is definitely a virtue they're displaying until Kerrigan gets picked up by JW through the mid doors. They still want to go for B. Crim's up on the left, not a spot they're really going to be checking for. He hasn't used that spot just yet. And now, takes out one. Can't get the others, but Olaf knows he has to get back up to the window. Great flash to slow them down just enough to let him through. Olaf's even going to move over to the platform. JW's already in. And Olaf going to drop on the platform. Good flashes, able to take out the second. TSM, great for these clearances. And JW unable to hit the shots. He doesn't want to lose this AWP. At the same time, oh, he's Dupree lost it. He is on fire right now. His aim is absolutely nuts. So it's all Pronax that's left. One on three. Bomb still ticking. And yeah, I think this might just be an invitation to save. He swapped off from that Damas. He to may just him. go for one exit kill. And it's a little bit too much. He shouldn't have stuck around. Pronax down. Op out of their hands. And again, they can't afford one. So this is getting dangerous because TSM, like I said, dust. Okay, I thought it was their map, but if, T if Fnatic can't get Ops out and sustain any economy on the CT side, they're mm -hmm. going to be hurting when they switch over to T. And that they've got pistols again. They they've got three CZs. But no armor, no nades. So this yeah. is this is well, you, fairly you got, safe. You got one flash, one grenade. That's all, on, and it's over on Flusher. And he's running up through short at the moment. But the push, well, it started over on long. Flusher going to have a bit of a peek up through mid. Sees three players. Going to have a crack of one. Is able to get him. Then that block nade. Gonna slow up that progression through mid. Subnix is able to shut down that flank of push, like it was pushing up through long A. And the short A currently belongs to belongs to TSM. Flusher is just below on the ramp. There's the nades, the smokes. They want to get on the site. They're expecting someone to be sitting on the site, not down there on the ramp. They haven't actually seen him yet. But all four players at TSM, okay, they're gonna drop one back. Zipnix to watch. For that mid push, Olaf's already down. And it looks like Pronax will be the final man to battle from what, long? He might get one exit frag because he hasn't revealed himself right now. That's the only reason why he'll get one. I also want to make a point that Dupree is 10-0. and 0. After that ace in the last round, he still hasn't died. This is, I mean, this is a great performance. He's such a strong player on entries when you they do that. You say that. I'm going to laugh if Pronax is the man here. to kill him. Good use right here, actually. So they, look at the so they threw the guns. And there it is, Dupree gets him, so he stays alive even longer. They, that was a really good play right there to throw the AK down, make sure someone else could grab it if they wanted to, get that op over, and that way they keep all the AKs possible. So the little things, the little details, TSM is showing up in form tonight. This is a great performance. But again, last night, Fnatic came out slow, and look what they did. So this, yep. isn't, this is far from over by and any If I means. remember correctly, it was, it was the double lop that gave them the momentum back. They're going for it again, JW and Olaf. They're the ones to hold it. So Olaf looking for that pick up through mid. Kerrigan's probably going to be the easier pick for him there. And he can't really find it. Now he's going to be forced back on short as Cajun B. Aggressively spraying out from lower dark. But this time they are going to commit to long A, but Flusher, as well as Pronax, they're not too far away here, so they do have a half decent crossfire for long A. Well, Olaf's trying to get as much information on mid as possible without risking that AWP of his. And Team Solomon, again, patience seems to be the name, name of this map. Now setting up for this mid-take again. One pre-flash out. Olaf's gone to the back side of CT spawn, so if that smoke comes out, he's going to have to get on the box quickly. Oh, pardon me. The overlay throws me off. He's above on Cat, as we can see now. So good shot out toward him. It was actually Flusha that was rotating in. My mistake. Well, right now, Flusher is already moving back to double doors. Olaf having to defend from very back on the A site. They're expecting some kind of push to come through B because Dupree's making a lot of noise. And Olaf, he needs the initial pick. But he's blind. There's your jump down. Flusher rotation up. Now off. Olaf does get the hit. Flusher for a double. And Team Solomon have run out of time. And players, they've only got now Device left. He's seen jumping down by JW, running to the B side. With 13 seconds, he's got to basically make a break for it. No, he's going to move back, save the AWP. And uh, that is going to be the first round for Fnatic, not a single player lost. And that's probably the biggest thing for them. They hold all their weapons and being able to repair their money bit by bit because they had nothing left. Yeah, and they get one round. So 6-1. Interesting. Obviously, he had enough money. He could have gone for picks there. Try and knock some guns out of the hands of Fnatic. Force them to have to buy again. Keep their economy low. But instead, they want to keep this momentum going their way.
So TSM doesn't get much money from that round, but they've still got a decent bank. 43 Dupree post by 64. Oh, oh device. Crims down on the cross through the door and it nailed him in the head. So it won't even matter that the bullet penetration reduces the damage when you've got accuracy like that. Watch out the Olaf on Cat may find one lower. I want to watch Flusher over on long. Like Sipnix is making some good, good noise over on uh, upper dark. And like, they're coming back. It's now the second. Okay, no, they're not. No, they're not. Flusher reveals him. Really nice nade. Kerrigan trying to tie his shoelaces with the pin. Going to be an exchange in mid. Zipnix gets the best of that. So there's one more rotator down. If he sits and just watches these doors, he'll catch JW and be able to make the call. They're already going back to join him at middle. Olaf's not sure where he needs to go. JW's but gonna he's going to try and go mid. cat, actually. This could be big. JW as well as Olaf are going to get themselves a crossfire. Cage and B's are going to move through double doors. Coming up, he has a little bit of spam. Dupree, though. He, wow, does, he doesn't get the shot. This. They, they actually got him. So here's your double up from Fnatic. This is why it's so scary. Olaf went immediately onto Catwalk, knowing that they hadn't come long. They're going to be making a cross at mid at some point. Yep. Good read by him. And JW saw that second nade come out, that flash. Easy kill. So TSM got caught a little bit here because they should have been able to penetrate into either of the sites based on that mid kill that Zipnix got. So... Slow to react, and this gives a round back. Well, potentially, we're not done just yet. They've got the defense split, obviously, but potentially back the way that shouldn't have been Fanatics to have. Oh, at least having the defense split, he knows he's got a one-on-one -on -one battle every single time, but he's up against the Orp of Olaf, and the Orp of Olaf is not going to miss. And such an easy angle to hold. Such an easy angle to control your peak when you play that reverse from long. Hashtag voice crack. Ooh, I got a jack with my manager. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're also pincering and penetrating at the same time. So, uh, so this double off out is going to be actually a huge problem now for TSM. They still mm -hmm. had money to buy this one. Device goes back to it. Well, Doesn't chance. get the pick this time. But they were they were Dupree. three men up at a point Dupree. there. Dupree on this long. He's trying to come out. He got a kill on Pronax as JW hides inside the smoke. He's got the AWP. But a close range AWP up against that AK of Dupree. Dupree, JW's gonna back it up. Look at him, look at him just retreat out. Does one quick shot and just legs it all the way back to A. Which forces Olaf. Actually, Olaf's moving up on short. The smoke means that Team Solomon will be blind if they went up through there, but they got every player apart from Dupree over on the B site. Which is fine when Device is the man holding the bomb. But again, they have to show a game of patience. They know both the orbs are still up. But look at Dupree's situation. No smokes, no nades. Can't do anything to get JW's attention away Here from him come. or distract him. So I lost first pick. Where is it? There it is. Carrigan's going to go down. Arlof not backing up from his spot. He wants to wait this one out. Now he just does a guess one. With the flashbangs, 40 seconds on the clock. Looking for the long JW, defending from on top, on top of the site. Going for the long player as well. He knows there's more coming through short, but he relies on flush to do the job. And team solo mid. There was nothing. There was there was no, no way they were going to get that. When you had JW on platform with no nades or smokes at long to be able to deter his angle and Olaf already up on cat, that's two ops in A holding long and easy yep. angles. There was no way. Dupree had to wait for his teammates to come up. He tried to go for that peak. As soon as he focused JW, Flusha was there from spawn, popped up, boom, down. So now they're not really getting the openings they need. And I go back again to that round where Olaf and JW clutched things. That's another round that TSM should have had. That might haunt them later in this game. Let's look for these early pickups this time around. It's not going to happen for, for JW as TSM with just a couple of pistols. They move quickly into upper dark, make a little bit of noise, but they're looking to go in through mid. Or potentially actually go into short, because Sipnix as well as Device. Device is that bomb inside that long A. Pronex is already waiting for him, and there's Dupree. Into short. Flusher and Pronex are out of position. Dupree's going to be able to walk onto the A site. Olaf's going to be late in the rotation. Look for the jump down. There it comes. In fact, uh, well, there's a double jump down, but that means Olaf can just take the shots from down inside the CT. They did lose Olaf at the end of the day, and the plan does go down for TSM. So good advantage for them. In fact, they're able to hold this advantage. There's still a three on two, but Karakas managed to find himself an AWP now and try and pick up Fnatic as they go for these, for these rotations across. This is a bit scary for Flusha, but no, easily done. He used the smoke to his own advantage. That was a bit scary, because that Tech-9, he was low HP when he got that, that secondary kill. The guy that was actually behind Flush over at the car, I can't remember, if, my apologies, who it was. 
He might have been able to get it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. The good news, and it was fortunate for Fnatic, is there was no guns over near him to pick up. So that was all he had to work with was that Tech 9. So. Well, great news for Fnatic. They hold the double orps. They didn't lose them at the end of the day. So we're about to get a money bonus if this round, I mean, we're up to four. There's already a money bonus going, but we're about to get a full money bonus going the way of the T's, which means they'll start to be able to force every round if they choose to. The question is, how important is the op to them? Do they try and save to get it out more often, or do they try and get just oh, two or three more rounds with guns? Man, Olaf's playing like Dennis from... Uh... <laughs> and yeah, they're going to push all the way through because Flush is on Cat, so this is very much a uh, LDLC slash Team Envious play. There's that first shot. Flush is seeing into lower dark. Knows there's another one down there. Where are these nades? They start flying in. The Molotov keeping Cajun B at the front, but Olaf tries to go for the peak and get a fail, which means that AWP is floating in mid. At that mid doors. Well, the Cajun B wants it at the moment. One AWP is enough for, team, for TSM. Tobias going to miss the shot in mid, get flashed up a little bit. Crimson Flush is stacking a little bit more heavily. Flush is still meant to be that floater. So if they do push him through mid, Pronex can just jump, drop himself down. JW finding himself in a battle on long A. Up against Sipnix. JW coming off worse, worse for wear. And teams all in mid. They, uh, they look to mid. Dupree making still more noise over on B. But Fnatic being very, very patient about this. Look at that fl Flush's position. You could go big or go home right now. No, he's actually backed up. He's gone back into the B side. Priest pushed in. Crimson's over on the car. And in fact, Pronax. Ah, from up inside the CT. He had to jump up so he could see over the top of the smoke. The B side is still going to belong to Team Solo Mid, but JW pushing in with that AWP needs to get picks from up at dark. And Pronax needs to keep them looking over towards window as well as the door. So JW can do his work. Dupree. Good smoke. Yeah, he can't see through it. I wonder if JW just goes for the for the blind shot. Because device is on the other side of that smoke. It's gonna wear off. Should be an even wear off though. Device was just inside the edge of it. As long as he backs up, they'll see each other at the same time. Oh well, there it is. And uh, oh, he's not even he looking back around the corner. But they'll get the round regardless. They'll pick up that op that just went down. JW's op is back in the way of TSM. And the big thing for me that round was Crims was sitting. Dupree, or pardon me, Zipnik said it went into the site. Got the first kill, but overlooked Closet because they weren't expecting where there was already a mid-presence to have two players there. Mm -hmm. Device came through window. And luckily, he didn't just go off Zipnik saying, I'm not sure if Zipnik's made this call or not, but just assuming Zipnik is already in the site. It's safe. I'm going to run in. We'll, we'll secure. He actually still checked his angles and spotted out Crims. If Crims had stayed alive... Him in a position like that could have been absolutely lethal in the round. Can Device get the early f early frag? He's looking to the mid. Counter peak though. This is a Smith style counter peak baiting that. And we're going to see Olaf up on Cat. This is interesting. Yeah, he's going to see him. And the suicide run. And look at Fnatic. The double push out. They love doing this. Grab one kill, clean up up a dock, and then and just double it back. And even another one for Olaf. Controlling so well from short A. Cajun B is running as fast as he possibly can to long A. The Zipnix is, only go is moving up. He's going to get the AWP in his hand. And the kill on the Olaf. Well, these players should be moving over for that as uh, Pronax. Well, he just called out the fact that Zipnix is over on the A side. But where's Cajun B going? He's getting shot from behind. And a 22 HP. It would have been scouted out as well from Crims that uh, Cajun B is carrying the bomb. And with 46 seconds left on the clock, they are going to commit to the A site. Pronax is quickly going to be back on Cat, though he'll cover off the cross angle and flushes in spawn. They have mm -hmm. no smokes to hold. I take it back. Zipnix has one. Question yeah, is, nades. is they going to use it? So there it is. They will get across. And with the AWP. Oh, flush gets the better shot on him. Go for the plant. Just get the plant. That fire is going to take him. It's not. It's it's he not doesn't get him. He's in the corner. And when he walks out, then he gets, starts getting tinked by it. The Pronax will get the kill. They want to save these orbs as well. So Flush has been able to find one. They'll have to go back to the mid doors if they want to try and save the second. Important plant, though. That's where Crims is running. I think he, uh, he's not going to get there in time. Nope. Didn't get there. So important plant. Also a little bit of luck, like you say, didn't get to that second gun. So they'll force out because two players have above 6k. 
And Device is going to go straight back to the op. Those little things. That plant didn't come in, you wouldn't have an op this round. And you would be struggling to force out two FAMASs, not two AKs. And this gives TSM that just that little bit of an edge to potentially lock up an eighth round before half expires. Well, Device can get this first pick. It's going to be even better. JW is the man looking for his shot at it too. Well, they're both going to give up. Or at least JW hasn't. Now he is backing up a little bit more. But So we can watch the short A movement from Zipnix. Of the position from Device. Pronax does not want to reposition now. He has to wait there. Look how far up Flusher is. He's right on top of the short A, sitting inside that smoke. Wanting to jump down and look at Carrigan as well as Cajun Bees in lower dark, and there it is. He takes out one. And now that movement on through long. Device will get that pick up on Pronax. As I said, he couldn't reposition himself and he couldn't even peek. But long A's open. Flusher and JW doubling back. Olaf still in a very scary position for them, just sitting by that door because if they try and cross it over to Cat, he's in a great spot. Good smoke. That'll hold him off a little bit, but he'll still have the 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 uh, pardon me the ears to say that he heard them go up catwalk. Yep. And Olaf's gonna come in from behind them, and a very quick movement. Device. He knows Flush JW's up there, and they get through short. So Flash is gonna drop, and JW being attacked from three sides. That little flash up in front of him. Well, he's already gone down. Here comes Olaf from behind and short. It won't do enough of a wor enough work. And Team Solo Mid will take their eighth round now here in the first half. And there the it is side. again. Those two AKs came out massive. That bomb plant holding that plant inside the fire. Although, as we saw, he was actually not inside the fire. It was just on the edge of it. So Zipnix gave his team a chance. Now they'll go right back to the op for Device. You see his stats come up on the side. Tries to get that mid pick. Not able to do it. So they'll have three to B. And that smoke was out early. They won't have a call on this. But luckily they're heading toward A. It's JW on the corner. Who's already blinded just a little bit. That smoke though will give them a bit of time. But Zipnix is wise to it. Spams away. And JW's down already. And yeah, that was like the third time that JW tried to hide inside this smoke on long. But it won't work. He did get a little bit of tag damage in. Both Zipnix as well as Dupree have dropped down. So they've got 100 HP between the two of them. They're both on the inside of mid doors. Olaf and Cajun B are on opposite sides of this mid box. <laughs> Wait for it. Cajun B's got patience, though. He's waiting for the flanker or at least Olaf to have a bit of a look. And look at this. Crims is coming through tunnels. So Cajun B's going to have a very hard job here with up. two players in front of him. Olaf's going to hear him. Is he going to pop out and take that shot with the Deagle? Right. No, he just lets him go. He doesn't want to take the risk. If he can, he just wants to pop himself up to short aid. No, at least no one's there. And then go for these long deagle shots. Pull a bit of a world at it. And with Crims sitting in tunnel watching Cat and Olaf hearing one go back to A, they should already be rotating on Cat, in my opinion. They should be ready for this A take. This should be obvious. Missed the shot. And he's still going to get the follow-up. Obviously, they've got the, the gun power. Flusher. Is anyone going to look for him? The spray is there. He comes in close. Takes out one. Was he managed to pick up? He managed to get the AWP in his hands. The spray is coming out from Carrigan, keeping the, t the CTs into short A as Crimson Olaf try and battle it out. There's at least another pickup to come their way. As Flusher grabs one, but the last man goes down. That'll be Olaf. They'll manage, to, they'll manage to hold on to the AWP again, but it's still a couple of players being picked up. But there's enough money for a full buy anyway from TSM, so they're not sad about this. Yeah, great 4K from Zipnix, and uh, that none more important than that one through the smoke on JW. And it really opened up the long A. I mean, easy. Once that bomb went down, look, they just lined it. He saw one, saw the other. First shot was easy on Elevator. The second one, he was smart to not try and take it on the same peak. I think we would have had more luck with the scout. Look at that quick movement coming from Fnatic. They're all coming into B. They have to check Car to start with. And, in fact, that's where Crims gets one. Olaf, oh, sorry, with another. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Team, Sol Team Solomir is pushing in quick. That's a really aggressive movement. AW. He's kept this shot from down in CT spawn through the doors. Sickness to smoke up the box as that plant finally now going to go down, but Fnatic are in. They're just bouncing themselves in. Flush a take one. It seems like they just threw all caution to the wind. Team Solo mid ran in, full aggro, and Fnatic was just like, we can do the same kind of thing. Just bounce it in, bunny hop it in. And Zipnix thought he saw a flash come through that was not the case, so he was getting ready for them to come through those smokes, and he peeked away at the wrong time, so Flusha got the kill on him. 9-6 though, that's a great start from TSM. And as I said, Dust 2 was one of the first maps that we started to see the revitalization of their terrorist side, of their attacking mm -hmm. side under the leadership of Kerrigan. 
now they've got a really great opportunity to take off map one from Fnatic. It really does show us well. Like I almost want to go back to the first two rounds that were played by Team Salt in mid, and their ability to just read the play nicely, or at least confuse up Fnatic for how it was going to work. And Fnatic took some time before they got into their rhythm. I still think it's a, it's a very hard ask now for Fnatic to get a lot more rounds. We're going to go into our second half, but yeah, Team Salt mid have their work cut out for them now. Fnatic into the aggro position, Tech Knight into the hand of Olaf. And they're doing a delayed push into A, but the bomb is over in lower dark. And look at Dupree and Device. Almost love this. They're getting the extra information they require. They take out Crimson lower dark. Cajun B is going to drop JW as well. This is a horrible start for Fnatic because the bomb is visible in lower dark. And the other players, Cajun B is even moving up to find more information. Taking one, looking for the second. Cannot do it, but it does not matter. Well, when I say Cajun, you might say B, but he had three that round. That's the only number he cares about. Cajun 3. Cajun 3. So good pistol round by him. Look at him on Cat. So aggressive. Bomb down lower and easily took down the rest. And now they've won both pistols. This map is theirs to win. Uh, the, the fact that Fnatic... Uh, they just got worked. They just got outgunned. They tried to go for this delay push. The fact that he did bring the bomb to B was probably the most disastrous thing for them. You can't blame him for the positioning. A team solo mid, the confidence to take two players and go directly to upper dark, find the information, bring that guy up through short, know where Fnatic are playing, so you can adjust accordingly. I like how Device also doesn't need to buy a weapon. He just needs to hold that Tech Knight at the mid doors. The push will come from Fnatic into B. Olaf and Pronax will, bring, uh, will come in through the mid doors. And then the other entry will come in from the three players through, through Upper Dark. It's one for one trade off. Let's make that a two for one trade off. It's Cajun B. Keeps that account ticking up. And in fact, Dupree also going to let Cajun B now have his third. He got a double with the P90. Cajun and the Fnatic 3 push fails. again. Cajun with another hat trick. I love it. We're going to start a petition for him to sw officially switch his name. It still looks like a B. If you make it a capital and use some white out, I'm sure you can do some work. That'll look like a three. Oh, yeah. Why is it not a capital B, is my question. Just to make you ask that question. No, just to add the emphasis to the B. Because right now you can just say, it's, it's like Cajun B. No. Is that a Cajun B? Oh, yeah, that's what it could be. Alright, so. Team Solo mid with AWP in hand, P90s, Famous M4s. There's that AWP already going to work from Device. Battling up against the players on short. He does get tagged up a little bit. But support is there from Sipnix. And Cajun Beat's already rotating into the mid. He reads the play perfectly. Oh, they Takes line up. out two. He's going to get the third one Look, as well. Three, three for three. Cajun three in three straight rounds. It's done. We're, get, we're starting this. Get it on Reddit. Get it on Twitter. It's Cajun three. I almost feel like he's a dark magician. He's using magical hats because there's a hat trick coming out from Cajun B every time. Team Solo mid have just destroyed him. I know we were still looking at pistols, but Team Solo, like Fnatic can buy now. If they lose this round, Team Solo mid are on a very, very quick run to the end of the first map and taking Dust 2 up against Fnatic. Maybe Fnatic also will then be forced into the same thing Envious had to do during our first group, which is coming all the way up from the lower bracket, having to play potentially six maps in a row. I like how people are not only going with the Illuminati for the three, but someone just said three for three equals Half-Life 3. It's <laughs> oh, confirmed. Confirmed, obviously. I'm just hoping there's some Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there that understood what I did. <laughs> it's time to duel. I also see special K chat. Maybe you shouldn't kick people in pugs, bro. Just kidding. I love you. <laughs> so 12 to 6 now. What? He got banned from ESCA the other day. Only for like three days, but still. I swear I'm casting with Oprah. You keep up with all, <laughs> with all the, all the freaking gossip. Do I get a car? I get you a car. Fantastic. So smoke's off on B. Dupree's not going to have any line of sight toward Flush, and he's going to go straight through this. Oh, or is he? Just flashes it off. That'll hold them inside sight a little bit longer, and they want to go ahead and try and take with these five AKs they can finally afford, try and take this A from Cat. And Cajun B has actually yeah, pushed up toward Long. There's Fnatic. He's going to get up on top of Car, so he'll have this angle on the elbow. Unfortunately for him, like, yeah, you might get a little bit of vision. But you already got Flasher, who just took out his support. Zipnix went down, CT spawned. Dupree and Cajun B is allowed to find a couple until Cajun B is shut down. Support will arrive in the form of Carrigan. But the bomb plant is exposed for the shot, which is exactly where Dupree is coming in. JW, he needs to win on this frag. 
Krim's trying to keep Carrigan at bay on long. Device coming up through CT. He's going to switch out for the, for the rifle. And there it is. Krim's gets the kill on Debris. But he's getting shot down. The Famous from Defiance, JW, hiding on top of the site, trying to use the block, just packaging himself, but unfortunately, no delivery. Team Solo mid now take the 13th round, and Fnatic are piss poor. Piss poor indeed, and I, I'm very surprised that KGMB actually was holding on to an M4 playing that reverse angle, and they've got the half wall that makes that shot that much harder. They did get in, they did get the bomb plant, but they should have been able to absolutely control A a lot better, specifically where they were all coming from Cat. That Cat plant should have been utilized a lot more advantageously for them, and now look, we've got double ops set up going the way of TSM because of all the money they now have. And there's going to be one in B and one toward the A side. Crims really needed this. So they, they exposed the A a little bit more. KGB was starting to go for the sprint to long A. And then just backed up. I think Siptix just gave him the call saying, you know, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, one HP for Dupree. Flush is hitting some good shots. I have to say his strafe shots have been quite strong. He actually leads the way for Fnatic on 15. No surprise there. Where's that opening for Device? He saw the smoke come in from Lower Dark, so he knows there's one player there. That was Flusher. Who is in fact going to move up to short where KGB is watching. That is that AWP already watching, so I doubt Flusher is going to get the upper hand until KGB is going to drop down. <laughs> Are they throwing the AWP in for Dupree? Okay, that'll work. So they leave Dupree with that 1 HP to hold up a dark. He's going to get the first shot. No, he doesn't. Snap back. Fnatic comes in. They want the B site. Look to the doors. There will be a trade-off for a 1 for 1 while Flusher is controlling up against Sipnix. He can't do the job, but he does at least reveal the last position of the team solo mid player. The bomb will go down on B. And J-Dub's already chasing. He's legging it. So is Olaf. They're going to pinch him. He's going to have nowhere to go. Good shot for the first one. Olaf down. He's got to be careful, though, because he's going to fall and think he's safe. And already JW is waiting for him. He needs him. the AWP. He really needs that AWP pickup, and he gets it in time. Because the fact they did still lose that one player and weapon, more importantly, screw the player, it's all about the weapon. Man, the Fnatic was still a little bit tight for money. Also known as two Team Solo mid. With this buy up, it feels a little forced with a couple of Famuses. Yeah, and they, obviously they want to compliment the op that they ended up grabbing. Yeah. But this means on that. On Flush's side, but you're right, KGB could still afford one, so they, they want to also support him. If Fnatic can win this round, then they could start to snowball. And that's where TSM are going to be really careful. Olaf's the man on long. Cajun B looking through with the AWP. Wants to pick an Olaf, but Olaf, this time around not with an AWP. Sitting very, very tight and long. With Pronex and Chris making a large amount of sounds, there's that peak again. This is the second time TSM have done exactly the same play on long. And this worked both times. So you've just lost your long player. You know where at least the AWP is of Cajun B. Pronex moving up through short A. There's no one directly in mid. Zipnix is in towards CT spawn, but that smoke, he's going to have to play it right. Either play like Happy up on the boxes or push through it and try and take the fight. But they're not actually heading there yet. It's they've actually got two on Cat, and they've got two in tunnels with the bomb. So that's going to be a, a Cat fake to be. Yep. They throw the smokes. Pronax they throw the might flashes. actually drop. Pronax might look for the drop, and this would catch out. Yeah, there he goes. Down he goes. But, but he gets blind. flashed on the way by. Oh, he goes right by Zipnix, who also got caught by that flash. I don't, did he hear him? He had to have heard him. Now uh, Device now will. will find him. The second player pushing up through mid won't be able to succeed. Device already had the upper hand. And Dupree, well, okay, Flusher, time to go big or go home. He's able to claim two, but you need a full ace if he's going to take this round. Trying to funnel Sipnix through the door. Throws out the nade, Flusher. Okay, he's just going to go for the plant. Time is still up, and he'll get dropped. So uh, Team Solomon will get the defuse. And this means they're only two rounds away from taking out Dust 2 and potentially forcing a Fnatic versus Na'Vi matchup in that Constellation final tomorrow. Also guarantees himself, I think it's what, 2.5k for second position? That's right, yep. So you win this and you got a 100% 2.5k going your way. That's right, still play for 5,000 in the spot at DreamHack Bucharest, though, and mm -hmm. that's going to be everyone's goal. Yep. Quite obviously, and TSM are capable of it. It's, it's more like the icing on the cake, getting also money for playing at the group stage. you got to remember, too. Oh, Olaf. oh what so a push, quick. Olaf. Only one, though. Uh, he needed more than that, especially for the for the quick commitment. But what he's done is open up the hole for Pronax and Crims. They've already moved up through short A, and Cajun B too late on that move. And what the hell is he doing there, JW? Is he get stuck? He got stuck. Uh, and then came back down again. So the Vice will walk up. 
He'll get the upper hand. KJB, even though he was late to rotate, still was able to find one. But oh, Crimson's the one away. on the site with no HP. He thought that was a flash. He looked away, and that took away all of his HP. That nade did extra damage to his backside. He's the only one left alive. And KJB can hear him walking. One bullet, that's all that's required. <laughs> Fuck enough, JW, man. He got a Molotov kill after he was dead. Uh, yeah, seriously, <laughs> that Molly. <laughs> I don't know where it was. I don't know if our second cameraman was able to scout that one out. But now, Team Solo mid, they got double ops up and one round away from victory. They're looking really good. I, I, I might just take it back. In fact, I think I have to. Fnatic with only Tech 9s. It's all the armor, all the Tech 9s. They're coming short. Push Olaf through long. The Flash keeping Zipnix back a little bit more. He runs through the smoke with his back towards him, and Olaf will be able to get... No, he can't get the upper hand. He was inside the fire while the rest of the T's are pushing in, but it's a catastrophe. They've only got uh, JW and Flash are left alive. They will be able to get the plant down. They're fighting for his life. And there goes that life. JW and CT spawn. Flusher. A two-on-one situation, and there it is. That's, That's going to wrap it up. Game. Team Solo mid taking out Dust 2, 16-7. And again, Fnatic are forced to do it the hard way in a potentially three maps if they want to get through. But TSM, great start for them. And now we move to what? Is, is Inferno next, is it?